If you want to escape your dollars going to zero value and buying less and less each year, you have to invest it into something. They don't consider that that hundred bucks could turn into a million dollars in less than two years. This community is unmatched uh, in every regard. Guys, this is monumental for the future of finance and freedom to transact. I'm thinking that Pulse Chain and Pulse X are probably gonna launch at a premium. Maybe you can retire now. Go on that vacation you wanted. Make one good decision every five years. What's up everybody? Booyah, look at it. Pulse yeah, Chain, baby. Pulse Chain is launching. Pulse Chain is launching guys in seven days, less than. Let's see it from the big man himself. Let's look at him. PulseX.com, PulseChain.com, Mainnet are estimated to launch publicly in less than seven days. Less than seven days. You guys can start counting the hours, okay? I know there's 24 hours in the day. Do the math. Okay, it's coming. And something even better than Pulse Chain coming out, well, for some of us, is this is gonna get gone off of the face for hopefully for good. Hopefully this decision is never made again. I'm sorry you guys had to deal with this for eight months. This is uh, this is great news for everyone. You don't have to see this whatever this is anymore. We get mainnet for pulsechain.com, pulsex.com, two of the most anticipated coins and crypto projects in the entire ecosystem for over two years, well, almost two years for Pulse Chain, over one and a half years for PulseX. Guys, this is monumental for the future of finance and freedom to transact in human history. Like <laughs> the most decentralized ecosystem, uh, we've got insane return potential. So if you're here to make money, like this is the place for you. Uh, I don't give financial advice on this channel. Just know that I will show you all the potential things can have under certain conditions. So if you like to know mechanics of things, then this is great for you. I'm so excited that you guys found this video because there's so much going on in this world that needs fixed and taken care of and need resources for that and need the ability to transact and trade with your fellow humans who have similar ideas and ideals without other middlemen getting in the way and either controlling you, controlling how you can spend your money that you worked hard for, taking your money when you don't want them to have it. That's what middlemen are all about. Sometimes there's necessary middlemen for certain things, but we slowly but surely are removing as many middlemen as possible uh, from our everyday lives and just allowing individuals to have more and more ability, more and more freedom, more sovereignty, more power uh, to live the lives that they want to live without harming anyone else, you know? Who's it harming if you spend your money how you want without anyone else knowing what you're spending it on and taking a cut? I think that everyone deserves to do what they want as long as they're not harming anyone else with it. And if you believe in that too, then I'm so glad you found this video because uh, I think we're gonna be on similar life paths. Uh, if you like the idea of insane returns, having wealth, having abundance, having great friends, all around the globe, basically completely crushing it at life is what the plan is. And I think everyone wants to do that. And everyone has their own vision of what that looks like. Some people want to help as many people in the world as possible. Some people really want fresh water available for everyone, like the clearest, most crystal clear, delicious, healthy water. Uh, some people want very great non-processed uh, food. They want it to be tasty. They want to have amazing vacations they don't want you know danger around every corner where they live they want to live somewhere safe they want to live somewhere where it's fun to go out and exercise some people want to go and live a life of luxury some people just want to have a little bit but i think everyone in this world does want choice and what they want to do and so i think pulse chain and pulse x are a lot of people's tickets to that destination and so if you found this video, you must be looking and searching and seeking yourself. You don't just come across a video like this unless you really, really, really desire something great for your future and for all the loved ones you have in your life. So I'm so glad that you're here with me on this journey. Uh, I'm super excited with all of you. You know, got, got to rep the Pulse Chain shirt. Got a shiny shirt. PulseChain.com by Susan Arts. This is Suzanne Art. And... Uh, she hand makes all of these. There's just so much awesome stuff to talk about. But let's get to some of the overarching important themes going into 
the future after Pulse Chain launches. I already have some great videos uh, you can check out, helpful tutorials, breakdowns of the more complex topics. What do you really need to know? I have those videos, you know, prepare for launch of the Pulse Chain. There are some benefits you can get by being fast or early, but there's also huge risks if you don't know what you're doing and you're just going in blindly clicking buttons and spending and sending the wrong way. So always do your own research and don't just use one source of information. Like when Pulse Chain comes out, be sure to actually double check and be extra safe with what you're doing. Don't give anyone your private keys or seed words, anything like that. Now some other good information coming out. There's, there's lots of new tech coming out to improve the security of cryptocurrency. I'm seeing lots of cool stuff like, like they have some alphas right now. I haven't fully vetted them, but there's some, some projects that are allowing you to delegate abilities to specific addresses uh, under your control so that you can actually interact and accept airdrops and do certain stuff with the permissions of another address without risking any of the assets connected to that private key. So that means you're able to be more safe traveling around in Web3 and you're able to access things and try things even if it's a complete ripoff scam, they won't be able to take anything from you. So that's awesome. There's some new anti-hack protection coming so that like, even if someone has your seed words, you're protected. They actually can't steal anything from you when they go to, even if you give them your seed words, they can't take anything because you'll have a backup wallet or something like that. You'll be able to send your stuff to that backup, which is awesome. So I think as we go forward in crypto, it will get easier and easier. So right now is the time to get interested, get invested before it's mainstream and people are able to just, it's like, oh, it's obvious you get into crypto. Once it's there, you know, there's probably not gonna be as much gains. It'll still be great for the world. The whole world will benefit. But if you really wanna maximize your gains and enjoy it before it's mainstream, you gotta do the hard work now, the tough thing now, and get those benefits, the outsized return that you get from going in when it's more difficult and harder to understand, harder to find the good information. I've got a good uh, Warren Buffett quote. He says, make one good decision, great decision, actually, every five years. Now, what's that tell you? It means have a longer time frame, have a longer term mindset, make plans, like make decade or half decade choices. And you don't have to make too many of them and you can be a billionaire. You can be a multimillionaire, successful, travel the globe. If you just make one great decision, every five years to extrapolate a little more you don't have to get everything right you don't have to know everything about everything you don't have to learn every stock out there to make the right choice you don't need to learn every job out there to pick the right job you don't have to learn every crypto to pick the right crypto you just have to pick the right one you just have to find one thing that looks like it's going to do insanely well and you can change your whole life people did that with bitcoin People did that with Ethereum. People did that with Hex. The guy who made Hex is releasing Pulse Chain. He's releasing Pulse X. He's releasing the INC token. There may be more in the future. These, I believe, are some of the things that are actually going to change people's lives. It's unlocking so much potential for the humans. You're not going to be able to stop the transactions on Pulse Chain. It's decentralized. It's not a counterparty that can just turn off your money at will, like the banking system. I'll tell you a little story about the banking system. So I saw my great grandfather's, his deed to the farmland that he got back in 1914. He paid $1,800, $1,800 for over a hundred acres, over a hundred acres of farmland. There's no way you would ever find over a hundred acres for $1,800 in today's dollars. A lot of people stop right there and they're like, oh, just money was uh, more rare back then. You know, it was very uh, expensive to have dollars or whatever there. You could buy a whole Coke with a, a nickel. But I don't think people take it the next step and they realize that they're still doing that to the money. They're reducing the value of the money that everyone works so hard for. People who work their whole lives, they try to live off their money. They realize each year their money doesn't buy as much as it used to. Even though they still have the same number of units, the units aren't being stolen, but the value of those units has been being stolen for the past, you know, 100 years because they just keep creating more money and giving it to their friends. They buy up the prices of the stuff and your money doesn't buy as much because they don't need your money. If you want to escape 
your dollars going to zero value and buying less and less each year, you have to invest it into something. I'm not saying it has to be crypto, but if you want to unlock unlimited potential, you have to get it into something that has product market fit, that has a great store of value potential. You can be a business. It can be a stock. It can be a property, real estate. It can be crypto. It's like the same thing as personal development. You have to put in all that effort to get some payoff later. It sucks now, it'll be better later. It's just like that, except you use your money to do it for you. All you have to do is find the right thing and you put some of your money in it and you have more money later. It sounds crazy. It sounds like, whoa, you're breaking the system. It's like you can use the tool or not use the tool. Now that you've seen this video, you can't say, oh, I didn't know. It's gonna suck early. Like you're gonna be like, oh, I really don't wanna put money into something that might lose value. But people are just too focus too much on the negative half the time. And they're like, oh man, if I put in a hundred bucks, I can lose a hundred bucks. They don't consider that that hundred bucks could turn into a million dollars in less than two years, like it did with Hex. So everyone who didn't want to put a hundred dollars into Hex is now not a millionaire when they could have been. Could the same thing happen for Pulse Chain or Pulse X? Wanting to get rich without investing is basically like wanting to get stronger without working out. You can't just hope and keep doing exactly what you're doing and expect different results. It doesn't work like that. I'm very happy uh, that if you found this video, you're probably closer than you think to finding exactly what you've been looking for. I really implore you to keep looking into this, even if it's confusing as heck. If you feel what I'm sending to you, that I believe in this ecosystem, I want you to know you have <laughs> so much potential in this world now. It's gonna be very exciting for you if you do the research and you convince yourself that this is the right place for you, I think you'll find that this community is unmatched uh, in every regard. Friendliness, helpfulness, smarts, togetherness. Like we're all over the globe, but we all come and meet in like Las Vegas and have events and it's all community driven and no one's out to just like screw everybody over or anything like that. It's top down amazing. The guy who created all this stuff these, the blockchain, Pulse Chain, Pulse X, Hex. He created this community too. We all rally behind Richard, at least most of us. The guy's written self-help books. He retired at 25, did his own businesses, grew up from nothing, and became extremely successful. Now he's releasing more and more great products into the world that people can choose to use. They can choose not to use it. But it certainly looks like there's great potential for Pulse Chain, especially seeing all those high gas fees on Ethereum. Just imagine all the people on Ethereum realizing all the stuff that they like on Ethereum is now available on Pulse Chain and it costs pennies to transact instead of hundreds of dollars. It's a great value prop. It's probably gonna honestly kick off the bull market, kind of like how Hex did uh, with Uniswap and mixing with all that and all the DeFi craze. I think people are feeling that craze coming again with the meme coin craziness. All those meme coins that people are launching every five seconds or whatever, I think they got it down, you can create a new meme coin in 15 seconds. So if you're the guy who thinks you're gonna hold a meme coin long-term, you're probably not gonna do so hot because these guys really be launching them every 15 seconds and hoping you ape in and they dump on you. So be wary of meme coins. They're very low effort and it's all up to the whatever community holds them and the code behind it. That's why I like to pick the ones that I've researched extremely well. I've been following for years. I know the founder. I can talk to the devs and I can see the progress that's been made. And I can see that there's been extreme, extreme care put into the hard work uh, of making these projects because people are putting life savings into this stuff. Richard knows this. He wants everyone to succeed. I think we all do. We all want that. The hardest part is just acting and making yourself do the actions of the people who make the most returns in the world. And how do you do that? It's actually very simple. If all you do is watch a video and you go, hmm, that was cool, but act and do nothing, you will have no change. All that matters is that you actually make a change. You do an action that you've never done before. You actually hit the buttons on the computer. Like if you have a computer and you're watching this video, I don't even know what excuse you've got to not at least try out this ecosystem. Try it, $10, put in $15. Whew, going crazy here, okay? Any amount that you can spare for your future self, I think your future self will greatly appreciate it. Have you ever found $20 like sitting on the ground somewhere in your house or like in your car or in your clothes? 
And it's like, wow, sweet. I love finding money. Because if it was from yourself, if you didn't take it out of some guy's, other guy's coat pocket, you basically saved money and sent it to your future self. Because if you're someone who spends all of the money that you earn, you're not going to multiply your wealth and you're not gonna be able to stop working because you always have to keep working to pay all your bills every month. You need something that works for you all the time, even when you sleep. So owning assets, owning a business, owning a crypto, owning real estate, owning a stock, these things technically work while you sleep. Now stocks, not so much. They don't really generate cash flow. Some of them have some dividends, but they're very minuscule in LOL. Most of the gains come from other people buying after you. That's how most of this stuff works. It's, will someone else pay more dollars for what I bought cheaper? If you look at any stock market chart, pretty much, people are continually paying more and more dollars for this stuff because the dollars are not scarce. There's trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars out there. Like three or four years ago, they printed like seven trillion more dollars. They are gonna push the price up of everything. And so that means the prices of things that were bought years before they printed all those trillions are likely to increase in dollar value because there's so much more dollars in the system, it has to land somewhere and stack up. How mu Oh, how much does this cost? It's gonna be more dollars because they're not so rare anymore. You used to buy, be able to buy Coke, Coca-Cola for five cents. What's it now? Over a dollar? It's not even like a dollar anymore. I think they still try to keep it 99 cents at some places just for old time's sake, but how expensive is it to add sugar to water and color it? So they're still making insane profits on that stuff. Just be wary of a lot of these people out here will try to get you into trading and get into this coin, get into that, sell that, get into the get get into that one. And and then they don't care how you end up getting wrecked, liquidated, losing your life savings, trying to get in and out, getting yourself a headache when all you had to do was buy something and forget about it. Don't you just want to buy something that works for you? It's like a robot. If you buy a crypto, you go to sleep and you wake up and tomorrow it's 10x higher. You just 10x your money. You didn't have to really work for that, did you? Your robot crypto did. You just sit there and it's making gains while you're sleeping. Maybe you can retire now. Go on that vacation you wanted. All these things become options and choices for you once you start to own things, especially things that like crypto that actually go up insanely fast. Now, volatility is the price you pay for the highest depreciating asset class in history. So you might go up 10x, but then you might drop 50%. But guess what? The way the math works out, if you go up 10 times, but you drop 50%, you're still up five times. So if you put in $100 and it goes up to 1,000, you drop 50%, you're still at $500. And so I think a lot of people would still consider that a great return. The way it's looking, guys, I'm thinking that Pulse Chain and Pulse X are probably gonna launch at a premium to what sacrificers paid, just because there's so much pent up demand and energy of people who wanna get in. And the people who waited two years aren't excited to sell on launch day, I gotta tell you. I don't think the people who are already in the longest long-term vision coin hex, the majority of the sacrificers, are looking to sell the day one of the best project launch that they've been waiting for for two years. Especially if it's not at a huge premium. Like they're gonna want a lot more money for uh, their wait time because of the time value of money. If you put money in the bank, they pay you for keeping it there over a certain amount of time. Same with like CDs at the bank. So if you have your money out and unused, you expect a return on that. Well, so do all these people who've been waiting two years for their Pulse Chain and Pulse X. So don't expect an insane discount on Pulse or Pulse X at launch, I would say. I think it's gonna go very similar to the Ethereum uh, mainnet launch, which is where it basically launched at 10X the price, then it dropped 80 some percent and never went below the, their technically sacrifice price, which was just their early ICO price of 30 cents. They launched at $10, came down to 42 cents, wasn't below 30 cents. And then they went up to like $50 and then they went up to $5,000. And guess what? All the people who bought that and then forgot about it outperformed everyone who's worked 40 years at any job in the whole world. If you worked 40 years for some salary, you did not make more return than the guy who bought early pre-sale Ethereum and just sat on it. He could have been in a coma for years, comes back out, made more money than everyone else in the world. That's basically what happened. So if you want to be so secure that you can go into a coma and wake up and be like, wow, I beat Warren Buffett. Then crypto is the place you wanna be. I, I don't know how people don't wanna get into crypto. 
I think it's just so daunting and hard to conceptualize how it has value and all this. How it has value, the simplest thing is no one can take it from you. You can move it wherever you want. You can take it wherever you want. It goes up. It goes up more and more and more, more so than everything else in the world. You can't outperform crypto with anything. It literally is the highest appreciating asset class. You can put in $100 and come out with a million at the end of the bull run. It's... Tell me where else you can get that. I'm not saying bet the farm. I'm not saying sell your house and do it. Although a guy did do that for Bitcoin when it was a dollar. And I think he's pretty happy with his decision. Now, I'm not saying sell your house or anything like that. I'm just saying that some people did do that. That was back at $1. So someone had so much belief in crypto, they sold their house for it. This could be the video that I, I hope reaches you in a way that you can understand the potential for yourself going into the future. You want to set yourself up for success. Can you risk a small amount of money to change your life forever? I think everyone can do that. And I really hope you do because I want you to be a part of this community. I want you to be a part of the insane gains. I want you to be making new friends all around the world. Everyone who joins the crypto community, especially on Twitter, because we're pretty active on Twitter. If you want to follow me at twitter.com slash K4K crypto. I'm posting fire content there all the time, not gonna lie. Usually just good breakdowns, helpful stuff. We're all around the world. I know people from Germany. I know people from Switzerland. I know people from Japan. I never knew all these people before when I was just living normal life, before crypto was uh, so big and so interesting and making insane gains. It was completely world changing. It basically changed my world. My world is now crypto and other things. Crypto is so important because it, it just, it's like a business on steroids. It's like, okay, I could put money in this business. Maybe I'll get a return uh, if I do all this research and work with my customers and build relationships and all that. Or I could invest this in a crypto that does 100x. Is my business going to 100x? Maybe. If you do really good business, even crypto businesses. So businesses inside of the highest appreciating asset class underperformed just buying the coins. People sold their Bitcoin to start a business in crypto. They lost money on it. They would have made more just buying or keeping the coins. It's really weird that that's the case. And so I think that really warps people's ideas of like, how is this possible? It's gotta be a scam because most things that sound too good to be true are too good to be true. Sometimes they're not though. Sometimes the thing that you missed basically rips insanely without you. I gotta tell you, I think that hurts more than seeing your bag drop by 50% in value. I think it feels worse when you see a coin you knew was gonna crush it and win and you didn't take the leap and you see it just do 5x, 10x, 20x and you're just like, what? Oh man, why did I not get in? Why did I knew it? It's like, oh man, I could have put even a hundred dollars in and you're just like, why didn't I do that? So I'm hoping that this is like a wake up call. I hope you see me. I hope you hear me. I hope you feel me with this. This is life changing stuff. It's real deal. Sharing it with your friends and family is not a bad idea. Not even just this video specifically, but getting people into crypto, getting control of your own money. No one can stop you from using it. It unlocks a whole new realm of possibilities. I'm so excited, guys. This is it's finally happening. Le 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 happening less than seven days. It feels surreal. I gotta go like, I gotta go take a walk, just getting excited thinking about it. Cause I've been holding back this whole time on my excitement, okay? Because I don't wanna get my expectations too high. You gotta temper your expectations, guys. It's very important. I think they say happiness is like the difference between your expectations and reality. So if you've got really high expectations and then reality's like, eh, actually down here, you're gonna be unhappy. But if your expectations are down here and reality is way up there, you're going to be happy. Nice. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell. Thanks for watching. Peace.